Hey, what is the best Chinese book for self-study on your own? We got one, two, three, four, five books to go through. Today, I'm gonna show you in the books and give you my opinion. Uh, if you don't know me, my name's Kuei Zhou. Welcome to the live stream. I'm created here at elementarychinese.com where I help you learn the everyday Chinese you need to communicate what you want. Here in China, if you're in the US, you're not to China yet, Consider subscribing because I'm going to do more book reviews like this, give you in-depth reviews, uh, give you first impression reviews, and I'm going to interview other expats here in China about how they learn Chinese. So you want to self-study? Let's start talking about the books that you could use. Number one important thing. Oh, this is a live stream. So thanks for showing up live. Hey, Tisha Johnson, what's going on? And if you're here on the replay, Thank you for being here on the replay. There's an icon right there or there. You can click that icon to subscribe to the channel. This live stream today is brought to you by my online course, speakeverydaychinese.com, where you can go and learn just the useful Chinese for the phrases that you need the most. Links are in the descriptions for all these books I talk about and that course. Let's get started with this book. You're gonna self-study, you must get a book that has audio. I don't know where you're at in the world, so get audio that you can practice with. I'll tell you which books have audio and which don't. You need to read out loud with the audio. I've been in China for almost 11 years. That's what I did in the beginning to help my accent. So, uh, also if you want to self-study, I would combine a book that has audio with a tutor. Use an app like Hello Talk. Use an app like uh, WeChat, take pictures of the book pages and have your Chinese tutor help you out. Here's all these books. Let's look inside the first one. BBC Talk Mandarin Chinese. It says it's, it's the ideal course for beginners. Um, it does have audio. Comes in something like this. Ah, how can I hold this for you guys so you can see I'm right-handed. There's a CD. You're going to have to find a way to get the MP3s off that CD. Um, should have thought of a way to hold this. Here's the thing about this book. There are no characters, but if you're a beginner, then characters are probably overwhelming for you. So that's okay. If you wanna see the table of contents, there, all these books have about the same content. So I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm just gonna show you what is inside the book. Now again, this one is for complete beginners. It's a little less of a textbook and a little more of a phrase book. Here's another page inside this book. So you'll listen to the audio, you'll practice the words in here. That's the BBC Talk Chinese. I haven't listened to the audio yet, but um, it's not too expensive. Get Talking Chinese is a pretty one. This is the least textbook of the textbooks, okay? So can it be purchased in China, Tisha? All these, as far as I know, cannot be purchased in China. So you're going to have to get a friend who is in the U.S. to go to the U.S. or go to another country like, and get it off of Amazon. There's tons of phrases in this one. It has an audio CD too. I kind of like the colors, honestly. And the print is bigger. It's interesting. There's audio to read. Um, and the phrases are pretty close to the phrases that you would use in day-to-day -day life here in China. Right? This is called Get Talking Chinese, but in the UK, it's called Easy Peasy Chinese. I put both links in the descriptions below. Like this video if it's bringing value to you, please, and leave a comment. What kind of books do you use to study right now? Um, those first two I showed you are like under $25 on Amazon. That's US dollars. Living Language Chinese. This one also has audio. Um, it looks a little more boring on the inside, but what it lacks in pizzazz, as far as uh, how pretty it looks on the inside, it just makes up for sheer content. Like, the content is here. And here's the thing. This one is huge. Look at this. It's like, still costs like under $30, I think, US, but it has... Beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and a character guide. 
and uh, of course all the audio CDs. Again, if you don't have a CD player, find it, rip it. But yeah, that's that's kind of huge value. Um, so you might want to do that for self-study. Again, don't just do self-study with audio. You want to read or listen with a tutor or somebody on WeChat. Uh, integrated Chinese is the reigning king, my personal favorite. This is because my professor in university used it, and she was an amazing teacher, but she also wrote the book. So if you want to see my review of Integrated Chinese and you're on the replay, like click or tap the screen up there and you can I'll pop it out for you. But it's color, the examples are relevant. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not showing you any bad books right now. They're all pretty decent. The one thing is Integrated Chinese does not come with CDs. Once you buy the book, the company will give you like a password thing and you can go get the MP3s off of their website. So actually that's a little better because if you don't have a CD player like me, see like no CD player in my laptop. Uh, this is my setup by the way. Um, then you can't get CDs into audio form. So this is integrated Chinese. Also, the one downside of integrated Chinese, because this is a true textbook, its workbook does not have answers. But that's because this is a textbook used in high schools and universities all over the US. Like a very accepted, excellent textbook, and they don't want those workbook answers flowing around. But if you do what I say and study with a Chinese tutor, you will be OK, because your Chinese tutor can help you. Um, this book is not the cheapest, though. This book is like. I think a tad over fifty dollars. You have to click the links below um, in Amazon and see. If you want a quick peek, I do have the workbook. Uh, here we are for integrated Chinese. Let's put this guy down here. So yeah, if you want like a super good textbook that's well thought out for instruction, for sure, integrated Chinese is the way to go. Again, there's links below, but the workbook has no answers, okay? Like this video if it's still good for you. I'm collecting many, many, many Chinese books. If you are in China, by the way, you can get the new Practical Chinese Reader. That also is a solid textbook. Um, sorry, this is level five, because this is, well, the last one that's being used here a long time ago. If you get it from Amazon, then all the instructions are in English, okay? So if you're in the US, don't panic. There's English instructions. If you get it here in China, just go to your Chinese bookstore and pick it up. That's, it's, it's a Chinese textbook, all right? It's not super pretty. The content gets a little more boring as you get more skilled, but still, it will uh, it'll have you covered. Those are textbooks. Uh, I know you guys are probably like, oh, there's the pretty Chinese books that Kuijo loves. Guess what, though? Those are not textbooks. Those are beautiful for Chinese characters, but they're not textbooks, okay? Like, they're super beautiful. I did not put the links below. I could later. They're great for having fun with Chinese characters, but they're not textbooks. Back to self-studying. The last one I'll show you, and ask questions in the comments right now in the live chat. I'm looking at it on my computer, so I will answer your questions. Uh, Discover China student book. This also has audio, FYI. Audio CDs in the book. So this is another textbook. There's some color there. And uh, if you're self-studying, great, because you can listen to the audio. If you're just joining the live stream, my gosh, come back and watch the replay, but I'm just showing you all of these books that you can use for self-study. Ask questions about how I studied, because when I finish, we're going to do Q&A. You're here. I see you. I want to answer your questions. I studied in China, I studied in China for two years, full-time study, 20 hours a week. I also studied in university in the US for one year, and I still study, and I'm always looking at books. So there we go. So here's the books. Let's do a quick overview comparison before we start Q and A. You need audio. All these books have audio. All these books are linked up on Amazon down below. Integrated Chinese is the one I love most hands down. It's also the most expensive, okay? If you want the most content for a budget, 
then um because integrated chinese is like 50 dollars us a little more than that most content for a budget is living language chinese because why comes in a big old box with advanced intermediate and beginner um and audio and a character guide actually you can write characters in there I'm not going to show you that right now but you can write characters so that's the most content for value link below uh you know discover china it's it's not a bad textbook it's just as far as these textbooks are con are concerned discover china is just in the middle you know there's nothing there's nothing wonderful about it but there's nothing bad about it okay bbc talk mandarin chinese if you get overwhelmed with characters and you don't want characters come in this book and study because oh of course there's characters on that page most pages in the book don't have characters all right and uh you're just going to practice with the audio and pinion i recommend you get a book with characters though because if you go to china they got characters in china uh this book get talking chinese also known as easy peasy chinese they're the exact same book just they're marketed towards different markets one is marketed in the uk under easy peasy the other one is marketed towards the us and other markets uh it's pretty good this is like a light textbook maybe a heavy phrase book what am i trying to say here what i'm trying to say is there's not as much content as some of these other textbooks and maybe not as much focus on grammar but there is a good focus on speaking and phrases that you need. So like, it's a phrase book plus. And if you want something that will just get you the phrases you need without wasting too much time on like grammar that bores you, maybe easy peasy Chinese is the one for you. It's also pretty cheap at like uh, somewhere around $20. Again, prices kind of change a bit. Just go to the link below and head on to Amazon and uh, see what the price is there. Also, don't just take my word for it. You can go on Amazon and see reviews. Like if you click on a link and you go way down at the bottom of the Amazon page, you can see what people have reviewed these books saying. So yeah. So phrase book plus. Let's answer your questions now. Subscribe to elementary Chinese if you want to see more from me. I'll be teaching on here, but really I'm gonna be sharing tips. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go to elementary Chinese at Instagram. You can go to my YouTube page and see the link to Instagram. That's where I put lots of phrases. I do these funny little videos and I teach you uh, the phrases you need here in China, the phrases that are most important for the day-to-day -day life. Okay, I don't waste time doing grammar and stuff that you don't really care about, just the stuff that you can use, because some of you guys are busy, and you don't have time to learn nuances, you just want phrases that work. So what are your questions? I am looking... So like this video, and leave a comment. Again, these are the books. If you want to see another video from elementary Chinese, click or tap the screen down there. And if you want to see how I pass the HSK, which is what you need if you want a visa or study in China or anything like that, um, click or tap the screen up there, all right? This is Kuejo, elementary Chinese. Good, good study. Day, day up.